Is that you, Santa? I promise I've been a good girl. Please, bless me with that Bentley. <laughs> Hello, my messieurs and my mademoiselles. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Ah, oh, I love this time of year, honey. Madame Cherie approves this message, honey. <laughs> I am your vintage goddess. I am your vintage queen. I am Madame Cherie. Yes, girl. Oh, Christmas. Definitely my favorite time of the year. And I have a birthday, actually, two days after Christmas. So I was born on December 27th. So I definitely had a reason to come on here and to do a makeup tutorial that you can wear for Christmas and for my birthday. <laughs> I thought that I would do a really simple look uh, for beginners. I know that there are ladies out there who want to do their makeup and they feel like, oh, I can't do it. But this makeup tutorial is very, very simple. We're just using a little gold and a little brown with, of course, a banging red lip. Anybody can achieve this look, and this look will look good on anyone. If you want to learn how to achieve this beautiful Christmas makeup tutorial, then, honey, you better put down those gifts and unwrap your inner As per usual, I put on my bunny ears. I don't know what it is about these bunny ears that I just love so much. I walk around the house with these, so forgive you, girl, but I had to put on my bunny ears. And we have on our eyebrows, and I've already concealed my eye area, I'm using it as a base so we can heighten our colors. And so we're looking good and beautiful for Christmas. Okay. We are going to dive in into our Warriors palette by Juvia's Place. My go-to, my all-time favorite. I love this palette. And as you can see, this is why I love the palette. It has all these beautiful warm colors that we're gonna definitely play around with. In fact, all of our um, eye colors will come from this palette. This will be a very simple tutorial. Um, for those of you who want to learn how to do makeup and you want to really perfect your look for Christmas, this is going to be an easy, easy tutorial. So first, you want to dive in to your transition color. A transition color is a color that is your complexion or close to it. For me, it is this color right here since I'm like a caramel kind of color. And this color here is called Cano or Cano. This one right here. And you wanna take a fluffy blending brush. And I know I have a fluffy blending brush, girl. Every time I look down, I'm like, all these brushes, I know I'm looking dead at it, but I can never find my brush. Like seriously, I can never find my brush. So let me see if I have another one that I can play with. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, girls. Yep. Never fail, sitting right there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go into our transition color and you just simply want to put it on the outskirts of your eye and bring it up like this. And of course, I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the eyebrow area, just this area. I'm not gonna touch this area because it's gonna work as our highlight. But I am gonna bring this in just like this, windshield wiper motions. This is getting ready to be a very simple tutorial very simple ladies uh christmas is uh, i just love 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 christmas 
my birthday is uh, two days after Christmas. I was born on December 27th. And so, of course, for Christmas, um, a lot of people like to get me one gift. It's supposed to be a Christmas and birthday gift. But I'm like, no, 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 no. I was born on the 27th, not the 25th. So I get a 25th gift and a 27th gift. <laughs> um, sometimes people do it, sometimes they don't. <laughs> But hey, it's all good. But I love Christmas. Oh, oh the gifts, the eggnog, the food, the family, friends. Ah, oh, such a wonderful time of the season. Love watching Home Alone. Oh my goodness. I like watching Home Alone around this time. And I also like to watch uh, The Wizard of Oz, too, as well, um, for this time of year. Oh, and then the decor, uh, the tree. I usually turn on Nat King Cole on YouTube. Um, they have his whole Christmas album, so I, I just play it. And it is a tradition for us to put up the tree, decorate it in our either Christmas t-shirts or our jammies. And we have eggnog and some treats and we play Nat King Cole and we decorate the tree and the, um, the entire house. So uh, it's just so fun. Wonderful, wonderful time of the year. Okay, next we want to go into this beautiful dark chocolate color because you wanna deepen this smoky eye look. So this one is called Mino or Mino. And I'm gonna take more of a precise brush. Um, this brush right here, I'm gonna take this brush, more of a, like a pencil brush. And I'm only going to apply this dark color right up in here to deepen this color. And I'm just gonna make like a V shape. This is going to be a very simple tutorial. You don't have to stress out about this tutorial. We're gonna make this simple for you. And I'm gonna put it on this side. Again, kind of like a V shape. Bring it on in. And just blend that in. Deepen that here. then just kind of bring that up just a little bit and make a v-shape then you don't want to just leave it like that you want to take your fluffy blending brush with no product on it and you just simply want to blend the darker color into your transition color and blend that all in you should blend it in so much where you can't see where the light color starts and where the dark color ends. And then just gonna blend this side. So talk to me in the comments section. Let me know what your favorite uh, Christmas song is. Christmas Carol. Oh, I have uh, so many of them that I love deeply. I just love this time of year. My goodness, and I love, you know, cold weather. I'm not a fan of summer months. I cannot stand summer months, like seriously. I get so hot, like if you were to come over my house, I'm cracking that door open. I'm like, yeah, what you want? <laughs> I cannot stand summer months. I don't go swimming. I try not to go outside. I keep the air conditioner on like 60, 65. I've never been a fan of heat. It's just, it's not happening. <laughs> It is not happening. So when this time of year comes rolling around, when October starts to come, I'm like, yes, I, I finally, thank you, Lord, <laughs> because I cannot stand summer months. So as per usual, this is my favorite time of the year. So let me know in the comment section what Christmas song or Christmas carol that uh, you enjoy listening to around this time of year. Okay, so we should all be smoked out. Very simple tutorial. Now we're going to put on 
the star of the show for the eyes. Okay, next you wanna pick up your palette. We're working out of the same palette, the Juvia Warriors Place palette. And I am, they've got, oh, she's got some beautiful golds in here. In fact, she has five of them. But I am going to work with Amina. I'm gonna work with this one. This one is a beautiful gold. And I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna spray it down with my Studio Fix because I wanna heighten the color. And I'm gonna dip into that beautiful gold color right here. And we're just gonna put it on our eyelid. Now, um, you can do a cut crease. Again, my eyes are almond shape and I have a lot of eye space, so I hardly ever do a cut crease on my eyes. Uh, because I don't need to now some of you may need to you may have like hooded eyes and you may need that structure uh, me personally I don't need it because of my almond shape eyes so I just put it on there you could do a cut crease but for my eyes it's not really necessary so I don't do it this look is going to be super simple for Christmas I wanted to come up with something simple that you could achieve for your Christmas dinner or if you go visit family or friends. You wanna take your fluffy brush and you wanna just blend those colors in right there. Just a simple blend. This is beautiful already. All right, then I think I'm gonna line my eyes. So I am going to take my beloved, I love this eyeshadow um, because it's so beautiful. And again, if I can find it, I've got all this makeup sitting on my desk right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild H2O liquid black liner. And the way you wear liner, is you want to create this line right here and then bring it down and bring it in like so and then shade it in you have to take your time with lining because uh, you're dealing with liquid and you're forming a shape I'm just gonna darken this, fill it in, make sure it's nice and black. And I like this liner because it's waterproof. It's not going anywhere. You can go swimming in this liner. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna do the other eye offline and then I'm gonna put on my lashes and then we'll come back and put on our foundation. I'll be right back, don't you go anywhere. All right, ladies, I have on my lashes. I put on uh, the liner on the other eye. So we kind of have like a pinup kind of look going on with the gold, um, the smoky eye. So this is how your eye should look at this point. Okay, so let's put on our foundation. Use whatever is best for your skin and your complexion. Uh, me, I am MAC NC45, so that's what I'm going to use. So let's put on our foundation.
Okay, now that we have our foundation on, you wanna put your concealer on. I am an NC42. Um, you want to kind of highlight and, and go a shade up or two shades up because we're gonna highlight. Um, it's a concealer, but it's a lighter concealer that I wanted to put under my eyes so I can put a highlight or have that highlighted look. So use whatever concealer you like. Again, I'm an NC42, so this is what I'm gonna use. So let's conceal. Okay, so now that we have concealed, you want to definitely set your concealer. I am going to set my concealer with the Iman Clay Medium. I love this stuff. It is a foundation powder, but it uh, also applies additional color. Then I'm going to highlight and make my eyes brighter with my beloved Huda Beauty in Blondie. I'm going to use this to highlight. So let's set our concealer and then let's highlight. Okay, next you want to set your foundation with the powder that matches your foundation. Mine is an NC45 by MAC because um, you don't want this running on you all day because remember foundation is an oily base. So you want to set it with your powder. So let's set our face. Okay, ladies, now that we have our face makeup on, we're going to finish our eyes. So you wanna go back into the Warrior palette by Juvia's Place. And we're gonna take our transition color, which is this one. And this one is called Kano or Cano. And I'm gonna take that fluffy blending brush and I am going to do a wash of color underneath. both sides. Looks pretty. Okay, and then I am going to go back into the palette and use this darker color. Um, it is called Minnow or Mino. And I'm gonna take more of a very, very precise brush, like very precise, more, uh, more pr uh, precise than um, our pencil brush. It is actually uh, going, it's a smudger brush actually. It looks a lot like this because I want to almost have a lined look. So I am gonna put that underneath right there and we're not gonna go all the way across. We're going to just stop right here. I'm not gonna go too far into that. Okay, and then you wanna take your fluffy blending brush and blend that into the transition color that you put at the bottom.
right. And then you have like a nice little smoky um, to give you, you know, something underneath. Take your favorite mascara. Mine right now is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And I'm just gonna put on the mascara on the bottom lash line. Very beautiful. And then to finish off your eyes, go back into your palette. And we are going to use uh, Marimi. This is a white gold color. And I'm gonna put it on the inner portion of my eye. And I'm definitely going to take a brush, use this brush here, and put a wash of color because you definitely wanna liven up the inner portion of your eye. You don't wanna forget about that. I'm even gonna bring it down a little bit, as you can see. Yeah, because you don't want to forget about doing that. Oh, that's pretty. And we are done with our eyes. Okay, and I'm going to go into my beloved Morphe contour palette, and it's called That's Rich. And I am going to use uh, these beautiful dark colors and then these bronze colors. Um, remember contouring accentuates your cheekbone area, your jaw, it accentuates your face and bronzing just simply brings color back into your face. So let's contour and let's bronze. We are now beautifully bronzed and contoured. Now let's put on our blush. Um, I am going to go into, of course, my beloved La Femme blush palette. And I am going to use, um, let's see, I think I'm going to use this time Golden Sunset, which is uh, this, well, let's see. Yeah, it's this color right here. It's gonna give us a really beautiful sunset kind of look. So you wanna put your blush on your apples of your cheek. <sighs> Got a little. And you wanna just do this. And I don't need any more because these uh, blushes are so potent. I'm just gonna blend that in and And then I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush and kind of lend that out a little bit more. Then we've got that. Okay, now let's highlight. I'm gonna go into my beloved Hyper Real Glow by MAC. Um, these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golds. I love these golds. Um, there are three shades of gold and I'm gonna use all three of them. You wanna put it in your cheekbone area, your nose, your temple area. That's where you highlight. So let's highlight. Okay, ladies, our face is done. So you wanna take your favorite setting mist. Mine is of course MAC Studio Fix. So just spray your face so you can set it and be nice and beautiful and set for your Christmas dinner. Oh, this stuff smells so good. I love this stuff. Oh. It really does set your face and keep it nice and beautiful. Mm, love it. 
Okay, the star of the show. Of course, I'm going to use the lipstick that's on my makeup line. Um, I came out, when did I come out with this one? I think about two months ago, but I have tinted glosses. It's a lipstick in the form of a gloss. So this one is my Monroe. This is a tinted red gloss that can be found on redlipsblackdress.com under my special features category. And this is a very beautiful candy apple red and it's glossy and it has a strawberry scent. So without further ado, we're gonna put on Monroe. I mean, look at it. I mean, look at it. It's, it, it's gorgeous. I mean, stand out at your Christmas dinner in this, honey. Mm. And then after you eat, reapply, honey. Honey, this is Monroe, and this is on my website under the special features category. Girl, go right now and get you some. <laughs> ah! All right, well, we have finished our face, so I'm going to change, and I'm going to show you what I'm wearing on Christmas Day. Okay, my messieurs and my mademoiselles, this is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful Christmas tutorial, and I hope that you will visit me on my website, redlipsblackdress.com, for all of your vintage fashion needs. I definitely have items like this on my website. And of course, you can purchase this beautiful red Monroe tinted gloss under my special features category. Don't forget to stay a few seconds longer to check out the look of the week. And as per usual, don't forget to look me up on redlipsblackdress.com. Until we meet again, I am Madame Cherie. Merry Christmas, and I love you.